Hello, second graders. This is Mrs. Miller with Lesson 7 of Social Studies, where we will be talking about how citizens contribute to their community. And when we're thinking about this topic, there's just so much to learn. So let's get started. There are many ways that citizens contribute to their community. Can you think Think of one way that citizens contribute or make their communities better. Go ahead and whisper that one way into your hand right now. Ready, set, go. Okay, I bet you have some ideas already. Well, let's watch this video, Citizenship in the Community to learn about some more of the ways that citizens contribute to their community. Now, this video is packed full of information. So you're going to really, really need to turn your listening ears way up. Turn the volume up on your, on your listening ears, not your whistling ears, on your listening ears. And you also need to put your thinking cap on. So take your thinking cap and put it on your head because we'll be learning all about how to become better citizens of our communities. And afterwards, we'll be talking about it, we'll be writing about it, and we'll be drawing about it. So make sure that you're ready. Citizenship in the Community Today is a special day for Lydia. Today her mom will become a citizen of the United States of America. Lydia was born far away in a country across the ocean. But Lydia's mom got a job in America. When they moved here, they wanted to become citizens. Citizens are the people who belong to a community. Lydia's friend Sarah has come to see the special ceremony. Sarah has been a citizen of the United States all her life because she was born in the United States. Today they are showing their love and loyalty to their country by saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, just like you do every day at school. Both Lydia and Sarah live in the United States, in the state of California. They belong in the community of Elk Grove. And they want to be good citizens in their community. Let's discover what that means. Citizens in a community. A community is a place where people live. But a community is more than a place. It is also the people who live there. People live, work, play, and help each other. That's what it means to belong to a community. But beyond belonging, the citizens in each community need each other. They help each other meet their basic needs. Farmers need people to help them grow and harvest crops. This provides food for people in the community. We get clothing from people who make cloth and sew clothes. Families need people in the community to build them homes for shelter. People who have businesses that make things like cars and medicine need other people to buy their goods. Grocers need farmers to grow crops and raise animals so that they have food to sell to citizens in the community. And everyone needs the services of doctors, dentists, teachers, bus drivers, and lots of other people. Citizens in communities need each other. They depend on each other. And like Sarah and Lydia, the citizens of a community can be very different from each other. They may speak different languages, wear different clothes, eat different foods, 
practice different religions, even celebrate different holidays. But each citizen is important. Every one of them shares in the special things that each citizen has. They also share in the work of making and keeping our country a special place. Citizens have rights. One of the reasons Lydia's family wanted to come to the United States was that they could have freedoms here that they did not have in their old country. These special freedoms are called the rights of citizens of the United States. Our rights include freedom of speech. That means we can speak out about anything that is important to us, even if other people disagree. Another right is freedom of religion. We can choose to have any religion we want. We have freedom of the press. This freedom allows us to write about anything and get news about important changes. Citizens also have the right to vote. We can choose the leaders of our country and our community. Being a United States citizen gives us all these rights and freedoms. The community gives rights to its citizens too. Places like parks and libraries belong to all the citizens of a community. That means that everyone has the right to use them or go there. Communities help with transportation. Communities also provide teachers, police officers, firefighters. And many other services that are needed to make a place safe. It's easy to see courage in the brave acts of our firefighters. It takes this same courage to be a good citizen and to do the right thing, even if it is difficult. But how do we get all these wonderful things? Well, we do our part in the work to provide them. This is our duty as citizens. A duty is a job someone has to do. These are also called responsibilities. Citizens have responsibilities. People must work together to keep their community a safe and peaceful place to live. This is everyone's responsibility. To keep communities safe, healthy, and fair, a community needs rules or laws. For example, you have classroom rules so that everyone can learn. And you have the responsibility to obey these rules. That is what laws do in a community. They keep order and keep everyone safe. Our government makes these laws. Government is the group of citizens who are in charge of solving problems and making laws. They are the leaders for the community. A citizen who wants to serve as a community leader. Can apply to be one. Then the other citizens can vote for the person they think will do the best job. When we choose someone by voting, we elect them. The leaders that are elected become part of the community's government. Citizens are responsible to choose good leaders to make the laws, but the responsibility doesn't stop there. Every citizen has the responsibility to follow these laws. Obeying the law is one way that people of all ages do their part. Students can be responsible citizens by following rules at school. They should follow the directions of teachers, the crossing guard, and other helpers. Citizens must be responsible at home too. These things are Sarah's. She is responsible for them, to keep them picked up, so others don't trip over them and get hurt. This also gives her practice being a good citizen in her community. Responsible citizens need to pick up after themselves and keep their streets and parks clean. It is the responsibility of everyone who uses them. Young people can be responsible citizens now by obeying traffic laws in cars, on bikes or scooters, and even when they walk.
Adult citizens in the community have other responsibilities, too. They pay for the services communities provide with money called taxes. Taxes pay for all the wonderful things citizens of a community get to enjoy. Taxes are a citizen's share in the cost of the goods and services provided in their community. Good citizenship. A good citizen cares about the people and places in their community. They respect the property that they share with other people. This is called public property. And they respect the property that belongs only to each citizen. This is called private property. If you hurt or break someone's property, you must be honest and replace it. I was playing baseball outside and I accidentally broke your window. Even if it's a hard thing to do. Good citizens care enough to learn about the things going on in their community. They clean up litter, no matter who left it. They think about what they do and how it affects others. So they reuse, recycle, and save energy. Our community is a small space on Earth. It's our space to take care of and use wisely. The things we find in nature are called natural resources. We use natural resources like aluminum to make soda cans and sand to make glass for bottles. It's important to use our natural resources over and over again so we don't run out of them. And almost every community has a recycling program to help you do that. You can save energy too. That's another way to take care of the earth. Good citizens also share with people who need help. They treat their neighbors the way they want their neighbors to treat them. A storm made this river too full. It flooded and many people lost their homes. This group of citizens helped their neighbors clean up and find places to live. Good citizenship at school might mean helping other students. Some schools have a buddy system to welcome new students and help them learn the rules of that school. Todd is getting a Good Citizenship Award. He worked with other students to make his school a better place. By going to school, you are doing one of your duties as a citizen. Another way citizens work together to make their community a better place is by being involved in government. A good citizen learns how their government works. They learn how to understand others and talk to them. They read about and listen to news about their community. That way, they'll know what needs to be done in their community and who is doing a good job as leader. Then, together, they can solve the problems in their communities. That's what these people are doing here. This is a city council meeting. Only one person is speaking at a time. Everyone is asked to only speak about the problem, not mean things about the people involved. Everyone takes turns speaking so that all have a chance before it's time to vote on what to do. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So, letting others know your ideas and listening to others' ideas is an important part of being a good citizen. Good citizens also respect the opinions of others, even if they do not agree with them. So a good citizen takes part in government. These citizens have come to the town meeting to tell the leaders their best ideas. Good citizens think of ways to make their community better. Some of the changes citizens might make with the community government are building new playgrounds, allowing new homes to be built for more families, having crosswalks made for busy streets. Some citizens write letters to their community government to let them know how to make the community better. Citizens can also ask other people to sign a group letter to give to leaders. This is called a petition. Good citizens do all they can to make the community better. Citizens are patriotic. Long ago, the first citizens of the United States made an important symbol of our country. 
A symbol is a drawing, color, or object that makes you think of something else. Our flag makes us think of the United States of America. When our first government voted on having a flag, they decided that there should be one star for each state. Then there were 13 states. Now there are 50 states. Today, citizens can show pride in their country by saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, singing patriotic songs, celebrating our country's holidays, and by learning about the other symbols of our country. Community citizens can show pride by creating their own symbol a flag or motto. Citizens can learn about the history of their community, how it has changed, and how to remember its past. Another important thing that makes our country and community strong is people working together to help each other. Citizens volunteer. Citizens can make their community a better place by volunteering. Volunteers are people who do work for something, but they do it without being paid. After paying jobs, volunteers spend much of their free time doing things that make their community a good place to live. Some volunteers help older people with heavy chores. Some pick up trash, recycle, collect food and clothing for people who don't have enough. Some plant trees. Others help at an animal shelter. Some tutor younger students. These teens are working together to build houses for people who have no shelter at all. These adults are showing them how. They are mentoring these teens. This is another way to volunteer in the community. Good citizens care for others. They're honest and respect others. They take responsibility and are brave enough to do the right thing in their community. Good citizens are patriotic and show their love for their country. They are respectful and obey the rules and laws. Being a good citizen is a responsibility we all share in order to keep this country a wonderful place to live. For more great videos, call 1-800-483-3383. Or visit our website. Wow! I did tell you that that video was packed with information. So, while you were listening, did you learn some about some new things that good citizens do? I want you to name three things that good citizens do across your fingers. So you'll say good citizens and they say something that good citizens do. So let's see. I'll start. Good citizens recycle. Good citizens clean up after themselves. Good citizens volunteer. Okay, now it's your turn. Ready? Set, share. Stop, look, and listen. All right. Boy, did you have some great ideas. Now, let's take a look here at our next slide. I've taken notes on the many, many things that good citizens do that we learned about throughout this video. Look at how many, look at how many different ideas the video talked about. My goodness. Let's go through them together. Would you read each one with me? They respect property. Oh, so that means that they take good care of 
property, right? Do you remember in the video how they talked about private property? That's property that people own. And public property, that's property that belongs to all of us. And how we good citizens take care of all property and respect all property. They clean up litter. Remember what litter is? Yeah, litter is anything, any trash on the ground. Let's go on to the next one. They save energy. Hmm. Do you remember what they talked about with saving energy, how we could save energy? That's right, by turning off the lights. Let's go to the next one. They reduce, reuse, and recycle. Next, think about how their actions affect others. Share with people who need help. Go to school or work. So guess what? You're all in school right now, whether you are in school at home or in school in the school building, you are being a good citizen just by being in school. Let's go on to the next one. Learn about their government. Write letters to government. Take part in government. Volunteer. Learn about their community or country's history. Boy, oh boy, there sure are many ways that we can be good citizens. Okay, so now it's time for us to show what we've learned. So now we're going to work on our What Do Good Citizens Do activity sheet. All right, if you're learning from home, you'll find this sheet in your Google Classroom. If you're learning in school, your teacher will give it to you. So let's see, it says second grade social studies unit one, lesson seven. What do good citizens do? And the directions read, draw to show three examples of what good citizens do. Then write to tell what good citizens do. So you'll notice that there are three boxes. In each box, you're going to draw a picture of something that good citizens do. And then right underneath, you'll write a sentence or two sentences or three sentences to tell, to tell things that good citizens do. Okay, so you could start by saying, Good citizens, and then finish that statement. Da -da 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 -da. You could say, Good citizens also. Da -da 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 -da. Lastly, good citizens. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for learning with me today. And keep being the good citizens that you are. I'll see you next time.